Hey, what up guys? And in this one, I'm headed out to Poppy Hills for the first time ever. I had a great time. Someone reached out to me on Instagram and scheduled and coordinated a tea time. And basically, yeah, we had a group of four and the vibes were really high. Uh, yeah, it started off playing strong. Not gonna tell you how I finished, but if you've been watching some of my videos, you'll probably can guess what happens. Uh, so let's head out to the course and see how I did. All right, first drive off the first tee, hit it pretty good in the middle of the fairway. And notice that there is some fog that's rolling in. And along with the fog, there is a lot of wind. So uh, you'll probably be hearing it a little bit in the background, but it was a windy day out at Poppy Hills. So my next shot just played it dead center into the middle of the green. And so I'm on in regulation. And here's my birdie attempt. And yeah, I blasted it by. So I practiced a little bit on the practice putting greens, but uh, yeah, I wasn't quite used to the speeds, but I got in for par. Uh, and so I'm even through one. So this was the individual that invited me to play at Poppy Hills. Um, yeah, he just scheduled the tee time and yeah, he had a really right. good one into this shorter par three. Also one of his friends uh, also joined go. us uh, and he also hit a good shot into the green. So yeah, some pretty good shots for the Golf Perfection back, fan cam. Oh, All right, here's my attempt on the par three, uh, 173 yards, but there was some wind playing behind us. Uh, and some elevation change so i ended up hitting my eight iron onto the green and pretty close and when i sometimes when i review my rounds it, it hurts because i see how close i am for making a good a good uh you know a good putt or that close to a birdie and so yeah that one kind of stings reviewing it after the fact so this next shot uh, i didn't hit it the greatest but it was into wind a little bit uphill uh yeah it didn't go very far but i'm in the fairway so I had a lot, a lot of, you know, distance into my next shot. So I hit a three iron into the wind, just hoping it gets up there. And actually it was like even with the pin, but it took a decent three iron to get there, only 165 yards. So there's my chip and my attempt for par. And yeah, not a great roll, miss it out into the right. So one over after three. Next up is the first par five. Uh, this is also into wind, but I didn't hit it too solidly. Uh, ends up only going about 230 yards. Uh, here's my next shot. I'm using my super hybrid for the first time. I really love this club. And I just poked it up there, you know, about 194 yards into the wind. So I end up hitting this next shot fairly close to the pin. And like I was saying earlier, sometimes it hurts to review these rounds and watch my rounds again because this putt, I was only about three feet away. But I waited for everyone to put out, and so I thought about it a little bit too much. I ended up missing. So yeah, I missed a close one for birdie and ended up with a par. For this next hole, this is the first uh, hole off the tee that I had some trouble. I ended up clipping the trees on the right, and it kicks straight down. So I have a long second shot into the green. And here's my shot with the super hybrid. Flat out to the right. Just didn't want to hit anyone that I couldn't see over this hill. So I'm in this like waste area, bunker area. Uh, hitting my next shot onto the green. So I should have surveyed a little bit better around the green, but I didn't know there was a sand trap. Luckily, I didn't get into it, but here's my chip onto the green. And it kicks forward and not a very good chip and ends up rolling out quite far. So I have a long one for my bogey here. So here's the bogey attempt. And not bad, end up rolling it a couple feet past and end up tupping it in for double bogey. All right, some more action from the Golf Perfection fan cam. Uh, this individual hit it in the middle of the green and thought it was going to take some wind and push to the right, but it ended up staying straight. And I think for his shot, the wind completely died. So here's my shot. I become a little bit more aggressive because I saw where, what his ball did, and it inspired me a little bit of confidence, but it ended up going a little bit more right of the flag. Uh, and so I have this for my birdie. And hard to read these greens and it went pretty far past and we didn't believe uh one of the people in our group saying you know it was going to roll out pretty hard but luckily i saved my par here all right this next hole was super windy uh ended up taking a pretty fast swing uh it only hit around like 240 yards uh and so for my second shot i had a decent length into it uh and unfortunately i ended up hitting it into the sand trap on the left uh, my sand game is probably like, probably the weakest component of my game, and so uh, yeah, anytime I can just get out and one onto the putting surface makes me happy, and that's what happens here. So one thing about Poppy Hills is like if you're on the green, there's no guarantee of a two putt. These greens are pretty tough, and so I leave that one a little bit short. And so here's my attempt for the bogey. Yeah, end up missing that one, so I get a double bogey here at this hole. 
All right, next up is a dog leg right par four, a little bit downhill. I hit a perfect fade into the center of the fairway, not on purpose, but uh, yeah, I can't shape my shots in any which way. Uh, so here's my second shot into the green, and I hit it onto the green in regulation, so I have a decent putt uh, and look at a birdie here. So as you can see, reading the greens and you know putting well today is not not in, not in the cards. And so I leave it short. I just end up tapping this in for uh, my par. So hey, tap in par, no complaints, five over. All right, this next hole is a par five. I thought it was actually a dog leg right, and it went up into the right. But in actuality, it goes to the left. So I thought I was in perfect position. But then when I went up to see my ball, I was like, oh crap, the hole is actually to the left. So I end up just punching it out into the fairway uh, and giving myself a good look at it to get on in regulation. And so as you can see in this next shot up here, here is my attempt. And I end up chunking my pitching wedge. So I end up chunking it into this little ravine with all this fescue. Luckily, I was able to find my ball and you know uh, hit it out of here. So here's my chip onto the green. It ends up being pretty good. As you can see, I'm trying to hop up and see, but I, I'm too short and I can't. And here is my par attempt. Not a terrible putt, left it you know a couple feet short. So I end up tapping that in for my bogey. But yeah, that's my fault for not understanding which way the hole actually went off the tee. All right, this next hole had a ton of wind behind me, a pretty fun hole. I knew that I was gonna roll out because the fairway was going from right to left at the bottom of it, and I thought I hit a perfect drive. However, as you can see, this tree is stuck in between me and the hole, so I just took my forearm and punched it up there, uh, but I ended up going through the green and like over it, and so I just have a, you know, a kind of dicey chip just to get onto the green and try to get it close for my birdie putt. So it ends up rolling down because it's a downhill uh, chip, and so this is what I have for my birdie attempt. And yeah, almost make it, you know, just rolled a couple feet by, but I'm picking my par here on this par five. So I know what you're thinking. Only six over through 10 holes? Wow, like maybe I'll have a good score. Well, hold that thought because I end up in the trap on the right-hand side. And as you know, bunkers are not my strong suit. So I end up blading the ball over the green and into this like waste area over. And I'm chipping like onto the green, but it ends up rolling out and rolls through the green. And so I have this really, really long uh, putt for my bogey. And I didn't even hit a good putt for there. So I have about, you know, six feet for my double. And fortunately, I was able to make the double bogey. But yeah, yeah, you thought I was going to have a good score today, but no, 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 no. Eight over. <laughs> so this next shot, uh, I end up hitting the trees on the left, but it kicks out into the fairway. So everyone was super surprised how hard it kicked out. However, I end up in this weird position. So the ball is above my feet, probably at my shins, and I'm taking you know some practice swings and I'm just chunking it. And I should have just tried to get this next shot onto the green, but I try to get really cute with it by doing a flop shot. So here's the flop shot. I wanted to land just short of it and roll on because it's extremely downhill, uh, you know, sloping from front to back. So here's my my putt. I barely tap it and it rolls by even though I barely hit it onto the green. So yeah, I should have just focused on getting on the green anyway, but that was my mistake. So here's my putt for bogey. And I missed that, so yeah, I went two doubles in a row. So before you think I'm gonna shoot well, yeah, just don't put too much faith into me. So after coming off that double, I hit a really good drive uh, down the center of the fairway for this shot. Didn't go very far because you can hear a ton of wind is in play. And so here's my next shot. Just take a five iron here. It doesn't go very far, but I fade it right onto the green because I had a fade lie where the ball was below my feet. So here's a long, long putt for my birdie. Yeah, I just barely tapped it, but it ends up going far to the right. So a big misread on my part. So here's my cleanup for par. Yeah, and unfortunately, I just leave it short. So end up just getting a three putt bogey there. So coming up is a Saphir dog like left par four. I was trying to take off a little bit of the corner, but I'm taking it off way more than I should have. And I get into the trees. And so now I have this punch out shot for, uh, you know, just to recover. And of course I hit a tree, but it kicks straight out into the middle of the fairway. So I'm just laughing to myself and to my you know, playing partners here. Um, and yeah, so I end up just chipping on very dicey chip. I want it to be at least a little bit past the flag so I don't hit that false front. And yeah, here's my attempt for par. Yeah, and it didn't quite go in. So I end up with the bogey here. And so now I'm already 12 over. 
All right, next up is a long, long, long par three uh, with some wind playing in there. I end up drawing and cooking my four iron and it hits onto the green, but it just rolls off. I don't have enough spin with this four iron to, to keep it on from, you know, almost 200 out. So here's my chip. Ends up being pretty short, but I'm blocking it here. Uh, I end up moving out of the way to show you where the ball is, but yeah, not a great chip. And here is my par attempt. Yeah, I just end up leaving it short. So yeah, couldn't hit onto the green. It's pretty long par, par three, but I'm, I'm actually okay with the bogey here. All right, next up is a pretty unassuming par four, kind of long. I end up hitting a really good drive into the center of the fairway. So I'm sitting fairly pretty for my next shot. Uh, unfortunately, the next uh, shot was about 200 yards or so, and I end up hooking the crap out of it and hitting these trees on the left, and ends up kicking in probably the worst possible spot for my particular game, which is in these bunkers. So yeah, as you can see, my bunker game is not very good, especially long bunker shots. I just don't have the time to practice, and I don't just know what shot to take out of there. And my second shot in this bunker ends up plugging into the side. So I have this really, really awkward stance and I just want to get it out, which I end up doing. Um, but now I have to just chip it on and then uh, try to salvage something here. As you can see, it was pretty steep. I could barely get out of there. So here's my chip. Yeah, I end up babying it and you know keeping it short. Not a great attempt. And this is for triple. And yeah, I miss it. So I end up getting a quadruple bogey on this hole. So now I'm 17 over. All right, coming into the final two hole stretch, feeling a little defeated here. I thought I actually hit a really, really good shot here, but adding insult to injury ends up being a little bit short, so I have to chip on. And as I said, the Poppy Hills greens are pretty tough, and if you don't chip correctly and leave yourself in a good spot, it can just take off. So yeah, I should have aimed a little bit more left, uh, and I didn't, and so here's my par attempt. And yeah, it just lips around to the edge. So end up just picking up my bogey here and feeling pretty down. <laughs> So here's my next shot. I was really upset and I just tried to swing as hard as possible. Ended up hooking it into uh, the woods on the left. So I have this shot next and I just punch out. And yeah, it goes into the sand trap again. Uh, fortunately, I think you know, I'm okay from a long distance for sand traps, but from short distance, not the greatest. So end up just hitting this into the middle of the fairway. And so I just want to get up and down here for you know a par and to shoot, you know, break 90 here at Poppy Hill. So I end up hitting a really, really good chip into the green. And so here's my attempt for par and to shoot 89. And I leave it short. So it's kind of a bummer, but hey, you know, I had a good time. It was about meeting the people who invited me, which I had an awesome time playing with. So I ended up getting a bogey here, 19 over. All right, as you can see, started off strong, but then the wheel started coming off and then I had the classic blow up hole. So yeah, lots to work on, but hey, this was the first time I played on this course. I'm an NCGA member now, so I, I, you know, I'm vowing to go back and shoot a lot better, and I think I can. Um, but yeah, you know, that course is pretty brutal. The greens are very undulated, and they're pretty quick. And as long as you're in the fairway, though, I think you're okay. But yeah, off the tee, it could be pretty deadly where you're punching out a lot of trees. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing, and I'll see you in the next one.